Minu is, is taking post-consumer recycled material. We are re-engineering them into something that is desirable for consumers and engineers to use in the future. We think of all design projects and engineering applications that we provide to our global clients in a circular approach from the very beginning. We believe material should always be recycled, re-recycled, and reused at all costs because this will create much lower uh, environmental footprint and impact, like building uh, products, like transportation products, and even aerospace materials. From a larger scale, we are providing a global solutions for global companies that deals with a circular economy approach to designing new products and new projects. Another thing that's very unique about Vinuous is that uh, we are taking creativity uh, in engineering, in material science, into a scalable level. Most of the time, it's uh, mission impossible at first, but through available infrastructure and available technology today, we are turning these creative ideas into scalable pilot solutions for tomorrow. Innovation happens with prerequisites. Okay, and the prerequisite is very important for any innovators because it is a grounding principle for some of the new new ideas to be tinkered with, to be recombined and reconfigured, and to cross pollinate between different industries. We truly believe innovation has to get to people in a physical format, either in terms of a uh, applications that people can actually operate, and all the way to the physical objects that people can actually take. At the end, implementation execution is still, I think, 80% of the game in innovations. So for us, it's about not being afraid to fail and encourage a culture and ethos of doing, uh, physically performing, uh, physically executing. And there is plenty of mistakes to be found. Uh, we can tinker with that once you have um, a certain period of accumulated experience. All of a sudden, we feel like there's a lot more scalable solution can be packaged to these mistakes to create a value in the long run. What's the impact of mini to the world? I think it's very simple. We have very simple target in mind. One is solving the resource problem. Our virgin resources depleting. That's the fact. We have created a solution where we can take recycled material or post-consumer recycled material and turn that into new resources for new products for generations to come. The second uh, issues that we have been focusing on is trash issue, toxicities, and all these wasted resources that's currently polluting the environment. I think we can kill two birds with one stone. We can take the uh, pollution issues and we can hopefully turn the pollution issue into our new resources. The third, I think we have already created uh, a, a system uh, that can potentially impact the way how we manufacture and design. We can uh, localize a lot of the manufacturing rather than being consolidated and shipped globally. Developing solution for the circular economy way. A new generation of manufacturing and resources can be collected locally. Okay, and that is very important for the next generation of designers and next generation of innovators uh, to use resources locally and recycle them and turn that into new resources for their local consumption. And 